All right, book day. Got some empty bins, some books there, some books here. Gonna go through this and give you guys, hopefully at the end, a little show of what we got. This, this bin looks promising, okay? I mean, looks promising, but I already pulled out a few uh, C.S. Lewis Chronicles of Narnia kind of thing, so let's take a look at that. that. You just don't know until you get into it. All right, we'll be back. All right, hey everybody, Golden State Picker. It is Wednesday, so I'm on my last day of books. I'm gonna flip this around and kind of give you an idea. You can kind of see the uh, two bins that I kind of went through and there's some empties there, so they got flopped back and forth. So you wanna be a book reseller? This is kind of what you gotta do. This is how you gotta try to find some. I'm gonna flip it around, give you kind of an idea here, show you uh, what I got today. Uh, put it on the front of a video just to let you know that uh, there's good money in books and eventually we'll get around to that Amazon video just need to work out some details so hey let's flip it around all right guys so this is how you start so you I had a bin and a half there was a bin and a half and you can see that this is everything that's rejected okay it means I do not take crazy right but you got to go through all this I just stopped getting DVDs for a while. I'm taking the Blu-rays and a few box sets, but that's about it. So here's where they, you go through one, toss into another. You saw the front, the front of the video, how that kind of works. And then down here, here's a mess. So this here is sometimes when you run into it, you run into the old, older books and the older books are tougher because you got to dig them out. So I just kind of put them on the ground here. I don't think I have much here on this side but I, I gotta do a quick check. Here's some old uh, fantasy type uh, paperbacks. Take a look at those, fantasy type paperbacks. Some of those are good, especially if you find them in a set. Uh, stuff like, you know, J.R. Tolkien uh, paperback, that can do pretty good. Now, that bin, that bin, that bin, and all of this is Amazon, except for Blade blade probably so that's a little uh, paperback series it should give me about 25 to 30 dollars uh, so you can see these are all the bread and butter that's all I got out but in those bins in all this right here is about six to seven hundred dollars today there were some real bangers and these books down here remember how I told you I always wonder what kind of person is in the bin I've got more of these in those other bins I just pulled these out it looks like I had a witch they had a witch inside uh, magic. There's other books of uh, magic of hers in here. I didn't pull them all out, but uh, you know, just all kinds of weird stuff about practical sigil magic, all kinds of stuff. But hey, they sell some book sets back there. There's a Tolkien set. Down here is a really nice C.S. Lewis set. And hey, look at what I found. Los Lonely Boys, one of my favorite bands. I've seen them like five times. And I bet one of their songs is gonna end up on our Fun Day Sunday video. All right, here we go, one last look. Sorry for the, uh, the noise, it's just noisy where I do this, it's crazy. One last look. All right, we're gonna flip it back around, go do our regular round, see what we find. See you in a bit. All right, this is why I tell you, I get every box I want. It's just savers, is Matt Savers. This is uh, Joanna Fabrics, and right there's Joanna. Joanna Fra Fabrics. And this is where I score my boxes. Back there are my fabric rolls that I talk about, how to put together a stereo, uh, turntables, amplifiers, everything like that. So, you know, just come and pick through what I need. What I like is they got a lot of smalls, they got everything. Need to package up something large, they got that. So that's how I get my boxes. Hey everybody, it's Mike, the Golden State Picker, and you saw some video of my book uh, process. So just a quick recap, you see what I do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Those are my what I call my book days. And I go from 9 to 11. So it takes me, by the time I get the auction for the bin, to getting it sorted, to about 11 o'clock. I try to get done by 10.45. That allows me 15 minutes to get to Savers. 
and I usually do. Today I didn't because I had a bin and a half. They kind of gave me an extra half a bin and I got a few more books today. So you can see it's, it's kind of wild. It's not as easy as it, you know, you see people go, oh, hey, just sell books on Amazon, right? I have to give you a little bit of that flavor. You see all that stuff on the ground, I'm out in the sun. If it's a hot day, you gotta deal with that. Luckily, I'm against a fence where there's some shade, but it is the process. I don't want anybody to take from any of my videos that this is super easy to do. It's fun to do, but it's just like anything else. It's kind of a job, all right? It's a job, but it's a super fun job because look at, I gotta find some really cool books. And what we're gonna do on this video is this video is going to be about the, the ancillary part of the books and a few that I put on Amazon. I wanna show you kind of some books that you can find because you can find these in bookstores. The ones I got, and you put these on eBay. Some are valuable, some are just like bread and butter, but you can still make some good money. Got to remember, I'm in California, so I'm always conscious, conscious of that. I really am. I know a lot of you are in the Midwest, the rural areas of the East, uh, where you know mountains, everywhere. And, and you're trying to figure out, how can I do this, right? So I've got to try to keep that and remember that, and so that I can show you that. And me putting these numbers up are inspirational numbers. They're not sitting there to brag. They are trying to inspire you. Some people think, oh, you're just talking about yourself. That's fine. You want to say that? That's cool. But I know better. I'm here to try and help everybody, period. All the other pickers are doing the same thing. Well, aren't they just chit-chatting about themselves too? Hey, look what I found. Look what I found, right? I can do those videos. I can go out and shoot those videos too. You know, I mean... It's, it's, we have to at some point say, hey, look, I did this. So that you can see many pickers. I'm gonna make a video, hopefully, it'll, hopefully it'll already be done. So if I'm talking about it, it's already been done. Cause I'm, I've been getting so many questions about the net. I, I do have a 2020 video that has shows that. So I'm going to be as transparent more so than any picker out there. There's a few that do show but they don't show the darn bottom line. They don't show, hey, my cost of goods were this, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of them that don't do that. I'm gonna do that for you guys. You're gonna see all of that stuff and then we're gonna take the journey together, period. You, me, we're gonna see what happens. I'm not very good at YouTube. I mean, I'm getting a little better, a little more comfortable, but as they say, sometimes it takes 10,000 hours to master something. And I've only been doing this for two years, so I'm pretty raw here too. You know. Do the uh, eight divided into 10,000 and, and see how many days that is. Quite a few days to learn a craft, right? Before that, I was in retail. It took me a long time. I was in that business for 30 years owning my own business. So I have some knowledge. I'm going to impart it to you. All right, guys. Hey, I'm already off the rails like I usually do, but that's me. That's me. You get me. I don't want to be some phony. I want to be me, all right? All right, hey, enough of that. So, when I go through the bins, you saw the pile of books off to the left. And they're just down there. I've, I've got to look at those. The ones in the bins are already scanned, and I know they're good books. Now, a lot of you are going to ask me in comments, what do you mean by scanned? So, we're going to make an Amazon video, I promise. But that is where I'm using a uh, scanner, Natamu scanner. It's down in the in the. Uh, Links down below so you can see what I'm talking about. It's Anatomy Scanner and the app Scout IQ, which cost me $15 a month. I use the scanner, scan the book, and it tells me either to keep the book or not. I will show you with the books a little uh, screenshot of what I'm seeing when I scan the books. You saw all the books that I threw away. Two full bins pretty much were thrown away there because they're just no good. They don't scan good, so forth and so on. You only get, let's say you get a bin, you maybe get approximately 40 on average, maybe 40 books on average, and some ancillary books that you will we're showing you here, okay? You don't get a ton. So sometimes you might net out, remember now, if people are talking about gross, this is, this, when you see this app, it's going to be the net, that's what I make. Bottom line, after I take it, take it into effect many other things. So you will see the net. Now, I can make anywhere net on a bin of Amazon from, let's say, 300 to 600. That's a pretty fair average to come up with. 
Now I work two hours there, and then I have to list them, so forth and so on. So I figure I spent about four hours a bin, four hours total. That would mean uh, scan it, ship it, do all that. So four hours. So you divide four hours into my net on that particular bin. So if I make, you know, $200 net and I have four hours in, I make $50 an hour net. So there's the power of the Amazon book, okay? It, it can be good and it can be bad, but most of the time, if you're smart and you can find them, that's the key, you gotta find them, right? You gotta find a, usually a Goodwill, uh, a auction house or something that you've gotta find. It's like your little thrift area or your thing, and then you run with it and you run with it hard. All right, off the tracks again, there we go. Let's start off first with one book. We'll get you a book going real quick, guys. All right, this is a book I got. It's called Chemo. It's about surfing. Very cool book. It's Chemo, Alice Cooper Bailey, and it's about surfing. And this book here will get me $25, so $25 on eBay. These first books I'm going to show you are all going to have to go on eBay. I could put them on Amazon. Some people are going to say, well, why don't you put them on Amazon? That would be fulfilled by Mer Merchant. Just one more step that I have to do. Uh, I'll just stick with eBay on this uh, as far as that's how I put these books up. All right. So there's book number one. All right. Let's go to like book number two. Now, simple things. Bibles. We talk about Bibles all the time. Brand new in the wrapper. A little um, pocket Bible. And I'm probably going to get 10 bucks for this little guy. So $10. All of this is going to add up. And all of it's going to... Uh, counteract that hundred dollar initial investment on the bin that's how much i pay so i pay a hundred dollars for the bin and what i'm trying to do this is the psychology i'm trying to offset the hundred dollars with this stuff everything else then that goes into amazon is pure profit that's how i'm thinking all right and i will go above that many times with this stuff here you're going to see it so it's pretty crazy how it, how it works out and i'm going to show you one right here since we're on the bible bible kick this is a bible that i found in the bin it's the Jerusalem Bible, and it's red. Now, the big thing about this is hopefully I can find a picture really quick. I did. Okay, I found one. Is who illustrated this book? Okay, so this Jerusalem Bible has illustrations throughout it like that. And you probably can't see the signature, but I'll tell you who it is. The illustrator of this Bible is Salvador Dali. So that's why this Bible is worth more money. This is easy, easy, a hundred dollar Bible, easy. So this book will have paid for one bin, period, one hundred dollars. And now I've got other stuff, and I've got the Amazon books. So you can see, but you can find these type of Bibles at garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores. That's why I sell Bibles right here. All right, let's get on to some more. Let's uh, let's skip out. I've got something in my hand, so I'll skip out. This is called Fluens, and this is well, it's all messed up. It is uh, basically spent dropping everything all over the place. Spanish learning CDs. Uh, the Fluens is going to get me about twenty nine dollars. Came out of the bin, so twenty nine. Let me bend down. I find I find more than books in the bin. I found, remember I found the poker chips? Uh, I found in this one outside, just outside here, is a bin and a half of more CDs, about half which is kind of mellow rock, and then some other stuff from uh, classical, that kind of thing. So that is going to get me a hundred once I separate all that stuff out. There's a hundred. You see how I do CDs, right? So I find everything, DVDs, I collect the Blu-rays, I take the Dr. Seuss books, and I put the Dr. Seuss books in lots of 20s and 30s. So you can see this power, this power of books. Uh, I can't emphasize it enough. I just get excited about it because I want people like who are interested to, this is how you do it. I'm just doing one bin a day. One a day, guys. That's it. I'm not looking to become the Reezy Resales number two. I, become, I want to become the Golden State Picker of books my way. And all I'm looking to do is, is build my retirement and my, so when I, I can do anything, anything I want. I want to go on vacation, I go on vacation. I've got streams of income. All right, there we go. Off and rambling. Medical books. 
You find them all the time. This is a cool one. I already had sold this one before, so I knew it. Once I saw it, I said, it's a winner. The only problem was I make good money on Amazon if I'm not restricted and I'm restric restricted. This is called Rapid Interpretation of EKG. You want to get a cheap education? Then get a book bin because you'll be able to educate yourself on every subject within a month. I mean, it's everything's in there. You want to be a lawyer? Those bins are full of law books. I mean, you can be your, you can be a lawyer, you can be anything. You can be a doctor, you can this, okay? It's actually quite a cool book if you think about it. It just shows you everything, you know? So sometimes you want to keep cool books like this and just kind of browse through them for a little bit and say, oh, that's pretty cool. How do you read an EKG? Used to always see the TV shows, right? There you go. Pretty cool, right? All right. We keep digging. Uh, these were interesting. And they're two different colors, but they're in the same series. It's, it's Bonsai Techniques 1 and Bonsai Techniques 2. Very cool book. And the name is John Yoshinaka. And it's just kind of a very interesting book about bonsai. I used to have, my mom was uh, divorced and she had another husband. And he was kind of into bonsais. And it's a, it's a weird craft. Not, I shouldn't say weird. It's, it's a it's a it's a craft. You don't realize how old these bonsais are and the trimmings and everything. It's, it's really kind of kind of cool if you think about it. Okay, now you probably saw this little uh, lot of Blade by uh, Jeffrey Lord. And they're numbered one. They go up to about 35. I don't know, they go higher. But these are basically one through 10, but it's missing one. And I couldn't find it anywhere. But don't worry. Even even as this is going to sell for, I think Blade's going to sell for 25 bucks. This is a lot of paperbacks that I found. So, again, nice little deal. Older paperbacks. Watch the Auction Professor. For this, Auction Professor is great for this kind of stuff. I watch what is the most valuable paperback so that this little AI, artificial intelligence, builds up so that if I ever come across one of these very expensive paperbacks, you never know. Now I'm alerted, so I'm, I'm I'm alerted to paperbacks. I'm trying to figure out. There's one with Stephen King that he was a ghost writer, so I'm trying to keep my eye out for that one. I can't remember it. If I think, if I if I if I remember, I'll put it up. If not, that that's the way it goes. All right, now let's get into a few older books. Um, you, if you nobody's ever seen my. Um, uh, find of John Muir, the first edition. I think I'll try to put a card up here. They call it a card, maybe to the John Muir video, where I sold that book for $500. Sold it for $500. You always look for the name authors, the great names in writing. And we have up first, Treasure Island by Stevenson. Around the World of 80 Days, Jules Verne. And The Adventure of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Now, they're not all first editions but they are collectible, meaning that some people want every version of Tom Sawyer, every version of Around the World in 80 Days, right? So you gotta think like that. Now, they make you 15, $20, but they still make you good money. Now, the issue with books is you don't wanna have, become a book hoarder, so you gotta be a little picky. And also, it's good to have them on a shelf. So that's what this new shed is about. Part of those walls are going to be for me standing these books up. I don't have a lot because I like to price them to move. I don't want to become that collector of books. So that's that's a good thing that I got going there is you got to remember, if you're going to do this, you've got to think like a seller, not a hoarder. And you can have no emotional attachment to this stuff. You've, you know, if you have emotional attachment, it's going to be tough. You got to really be wanting to sell it. And that's me. I don't have... This is a business, people. This is not, not a collection business where I collect stuff. There are some cool stuff, trust me, I want to keep. And I do keep a few things here and there, but it's very, very minor with me. All right, two simple books here. The Works of Charles Dickens, Bonded Leather, and The Works of Edgar Allan Poe. I think these both are going to get me between $15 and $20 a pop. Plus shipping, there's always plus shipping. I never put free shipping. It's about 95% of the time I'm always putting shipping. But this is where these are going to uh, sit at at that particular point. All right, one other thing I'll show you. I get, like I said, I this is not a book, but it's 10 DVDs, brand new on the railways. Not much. 
uh, probably best $15, but still a good little $15 find. I'm trying to show you guys, right? Out in the rural areas, this you pick this up, you pick five up, six up, seven up. Pretty soon you're doing $100 a day. What's $100 a day times 30? 3,000, right? So $3,000. So think of it like that. How do I make $100 a day? And if you go from that, then you've got you got three thousand dollars. Pretty straightforward, right? Pretty straightforward. All right. Up next, we've got some uh, book lots again. A couple book lots. This one I find, I find this one a lot. This is J.R. Tolkien. Uh, a little book set up, The Hobbit. It doesn't get you much, twenty-two to twenty-five dollars, but it's going to sell because I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to price it to sell. Uh, where else are we? All right, we've got like Minecraft, the series, uh, another Minecraft, not much, but I'm going to bundle these two together to try to get about 25. Here, American Girl, you see this stuff everywhere too, American Girl book series here. This is Julie, 1974. It's interesting what I've learned throughout my picking, and this is, American Girl is, is pretty popular, but this is about, about an $18 uh, sale they all add up right now if you take a look at my average selling price I'm at about $69 ASP which is the average selling price you take all my items divide it by my totals and I'm at $69 I used to be at about 79 and now I'm down to 69 mostly due to my sales of like 20 25 dollars but that's fine because now I've broadened my whole horizon I've broadened it and I'm actually making more money just my ASP dropped a few bucks not much i'm still at a very high asp of 69 dollars, and you know i might by the fourth quarter punch that back up so we'll see all right now we get into i'm going to show you a few amazon ones just to kind of give you the flavor of amazon and how i what kind of money i can make off of that so remember if if some of you are new a lot of new subscribers have just jumped on so if you're new uh sometimes i get bored doing the books and I'm like my mind is always racing because I'm just scanning books you know and occasionally so I always kind of try to name the bin and I this bin is the witch bin I have uh, I've hit a vein of books of magic uh, stones crystals it was it was kind of crazy I, I mean so I look at this and I, I say to myself okay why are the books here okay did a house drop on this one? I don't know. Did a house drop on her? I um, or or him? I have no idea. But it's kind of interesting because you start thinking, well, why does somebody throw all their these books are not cheap? But why does somebody throw all these out? You'll see. So I'm gonna go through, and then the first five or six I think will have the uh, Scout IQ up there for you people who are new. Kind of the the upper left will be the green. That is the net profit. That's after Amazon takes all its fees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you take a look at this first one, Earth, Mother Magic, Ancient Spells for Modern Bells, okay? Archangels and Ascended Masters, different. Then you get into some, Discover and Becoming, The New Human. The new human, the new human. I got to get it over there. So I got to figure out how to get it in there. So, all right. The complete guide to spells and rituals for psychic protection. Psychic protection. Practical sigil magic. Interesting uh, title there. Then I got into, it had to be the same person because it's all kind of related to mysticism, all that kind of stuff. Crystal Talisms, uh, interesting, uh, how to use their power of attraction, protection, and transformation. This one here is a good one. A little book of pendulum magic, pendulum magic. I mean, how interesting is that, right? That's crazy. Uh, psychic, the personal handbook of psychic protection, the psychic shield. Moon magic, moon magic, spells and rituals for abundant living, moon magic, 
I well, we got a few more guys. I just got to show you these because this is this is cool. You can find this stuff, you know. Secrets of Crystal Healing. Messages from angels. What your angels want you to know. And then light medicine of the future. There you go. So now you know why I called that one magic, I guess. The magic. I don't know who that person was, why those books are in there. This is just some of them. I have about another eight or ten, I think, that I have that were buried in the bin. I just didn't pull them out. Didn't want to show too many of them. But there you go. All right, today was about books, guys. Just wanted to show you that there's a different way to make money from finding shoes, clothing, electronics. It's called books. And eventually we'll get to a good book video. Just remember that I'm not the biggest bookseller. I just want to make a nice little profit, a nice little bit of money.